Hello, everybody. I know, a little closer up than you're used to. I apologize. You don't have to look at this for long. I just wanted to say, um, there's a slight audio issue with me in this episode. When I was capturing this footage, my microphone was quite a ways further away than it usually is, and I wasn't, uh, I guess I wasn't, uh, too keen on noticing that. So just as a heads up, you might not hear too much of what I have to say this episode, but you will be able to um, listen to the gameplay. The gameplay sound is fine. It's just listening to it on Adobe. I don't know how to boost my own audio because I record it all within OBS, so it's on the same audio track. There may be a way to separate the two, possibly, and boost one or the other, but that would require uh, somebody a little more skilled than I. Um, so if you're watching this, maybe I figured out how to do that, but chances are I probably didn't. Um, so in, enjoy this episode. You, you probably just won't hear too much of what I said. And admittedly, I don't think this episode, I had any real good zingers or one-liners anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But just as a heads up, we're just going to an artifact temple using uh, a new power that we found, which is actually pretty cool. We use it when we go hunt for the artifact. We go to an artifact temple, find an artifact, fight a uh, crimson fleet uh, in space. So we do a little ship battle as well. So just as a heads up, that's everything that's going to be happening. But if you think not hearing my wonderful uh, dulcet tones is going to be a deal breaker, then I'm just letting you know right now, you don't have to watch the episode. You can completely skip it. Um, but I guess in some sense it is integral to the story because we're finding an artifact and maybe getting some powers, but it's all radiant fetch. It's all fetch quest shit. And then a ship battle at the end. So just, just, you know, be ready for that. If you want the full complete story of Wyatt Holiday, then feel free to watch this video. It's not a long one, it's less than an hour. So hopefully it won't take up too much of your time, but I don't want you to feel like your time is being wasted. If you come here for my commentary. So, just as a heads up, that's so you know. Enjoy the episode. Um, this is episode 28 of The Ballad of Wyatt Holiday. Hello and welcome. Here we are. Episode 28 of The Ballad of Wyatt Holiday. My name is Joshua and I know sometimes playing these single player RPG games can be a bit lonely or isolating. So if you ever feel those feelings creeping up, feel free to put on this video or any video I do in this series and you can consider yourself to be gaming with a friend. What are we playing today? I am going to be playing Starfield, where we left off last time in this little saga of ours. We were uh, just kind of going around collecting uh, starborn powers. And we ended up on this planet... Oh god, it's been... I haven't played since Thursday. And it's Sunday right now. Uh, Bessel 3, I want to say. Is that where we're at? Wow, Bessel 3B. I was close. I think there was, like, a little plutonium here, and, uh, like, we had to look for it in a cave, and I kind of wanted to try one of these little exploration missions out, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to launch from this site and land, uh, somewhere, somewhere yeah, else. Yeah, just go ahead and this. So once we hit orbit, I will see about, um, getting that going for us. I got a little Thor's hammer here. It's like Thor's hammer in a film. Apogee complete. Form. We're in orbit. It's very fun. Somebody gave that to me. Um, we need to put it in social. Let's get social. Um. Extra credits when searching containers. I mean, that's always nice. Hmm. Ship command is where we need to go. So I don't think we have 25. I think we can manage that. Maybe we should have put it in there to begin with. I can't land in the ocean now. Let's put this bird on the ground. Sorry, I just messaged my brother. 
we're talking about our plans to one day build a little miniature workshop, which we'll probably never ever get to do. Um, he is intent on living as far away from me as he can for all time. I don't remember where this plutonium thing is. Let's try it. It's probably a miscellaneous objective. Certainly not that. Certainly not that. I thought I already did that. Oh, maybe it's an activity. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I never know the Or at least Captain Wyatt. Hello. I, I'm so used to um rain. I'm so used to just playing uh, something like uh, New Vegas or, or or Oblivion where they're generally all marked activities and the unmarked ones are you know, pretty good, but in Skyrim and here in Starfield, for the most part, it seems everything's marked, but it's categorized differently. I think Starfield's quest categorization is a little more, um, is a little more, uh, in-depth, like, there's, there's, uh, like, faction quests, miscellaneous stuff, and then you have something like this, which is considered an activity. I, I like it, it's just something, I'm not used to it. I didn't really engage with it much in all my playing in this game. Alright, so let's look for for uh for some plutonium. What is this? Oh. So do I gotta I'm not really sure how this is supposed to work. I was really hoping there was going to be like something like really cool and exciting there for us to uncover or yeah, learn some new facet of exploration uh, in this game. I didn't know it just wanted you to find one piece of plutonium and put it right there at the beginning of the game. Which is so dumb. A waste of your time, a waste of my time. More importantly, a waste of your time. I'm still chilling playing video games, so you're the one sitting or having to listen to which I told you which I
Never mind. Sorry. Thinking of something else. Uh, yes, Captain. We should probably talk to our companions a little bit, see if hey. there's anything new. You've got something for me? Mm. Not at all. I don't think she has anything. Yeah. I hope you got something out of that. <laughs> I should start charging for my services. Cool. So she Time to go? Let's see if Barrett has anything he needs to talk about. Mm hmm? Oh, yeah, I do. You may as well have it now. Hmm? Do you need something? Gladly. Talking about... Okay, so he doesn't have... Ah, need a ref... Oh. Let's see. Right. No worries. Yes, you need me? Uh... <laughs> so demanding. Here, see what you think of this. Mm-hmm. Good. You have my attention. Have we ever spoken to her? Yes, of course. Oh, yeah. What do you like to do with your free time? Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though... I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. Do you ever want to captain your own ship? I have done so in the past, when necessary. But I am not the best pilot, and... It seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. What's your favorite place in the settled systems? <laughs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, the Lodge. I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like... home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but that feeling is rare. And precious. Well, that's all for now. All right, then. <gasps> cool. Is that it, then? That's all of it. Have you never had a conversation before, lady? a strange feeling knowing you're living through some real history escape trajectory plotted we should go hmm should we talk to Vladimir to locate temples let's go locate one more temple which is fine we'll, we'll go we'll go to a temple and then after that we're gonna go look for that last artifact or at least I, I I'm pretty sure that's what that's happens Shout me out. Brian, I'm pretty sure I So many people video, all in one place? 
I still cannot feel entirely comfortable. I mean, shout out to you, Brian. Love you. Miss you. Can't wait to see you. Um, but you already know that. I tell you that every day. And every day it goes on. It goes unresponded to. So. I'm like, hey, Brian. I love you. He goes, cool. I'm like, hey, man. You say it back. You know how I feel. Okay. some uh some uh hang you know some hanging out soon hopefully we can uh, did you need something uh play some games play some kill team maybe if you uh you know felt like uh, picking up a second team up there you know hint, hint, and, and, you know building them up they don't gotta be painted i'll play with great flying stick i don't really care who you pick up just you know pick up somebody for me to play <laughs> i'll bring the books if i have to I know you've got a core rule book, and uh, they've got a core rule book and a uh, and uh, Octarius book. So. If you want to pick up some orcs, I could play some orcs. If nothing else, Constellation does have excellent lodging. Uh, hmm? Oh, sorry. I was doing the tallies work in my head. Inventory on the station. Next supply run. See if he can point us to the location of another temple. The eyes showing signs over another one of those big anomalies. Here, catch a smile. That just means we need to. Um, that just means we need to be ready for a starborn. came out, I heard people ranting and raving about that ship non-stop. They love it, they love it, they love it. It's so cool, it's so awesome. Um, and now I get it. I get it. And it's a fun story. I love how I love Ranger. Because I have a feeling picking up an artifact and um, just acquiring a power may not be the most uh, interesting stuff. We're going to pick up a bounty mission as well. Um, I think that would be That'll give us a little combat at the end and something to kind of latch on to. So I'm gonna see if there's a ship battle we can take on. It's not Pardon. about the damn star either. Um, destroyed Crimson Fleet Phantom at Seoul. Yeah. I'm happy to destroy some Crimson Fleet ships.
Energy, surrounded by stars and the vastness of space. Kind of looks like Pride Rock from uh, um, The Lion King. No, you want to hear something a little embarrassing? No, maybe not terribly embarrassing. It's only embarrassing if you think there's like something negative about it, I guess. or it says something negative about you. I don't think it's anything negative about this person, but um, I listen to the Lion King soundtrack very frequently. Like still, as an adult, I listen to it maybe more than I should, but honestly, in my opinion, not enough. More games! 
Doing in further into the unknown, which I, I, I imagine is going to be acquiring an artifact. We'll check the, the mission. This is about getting... Yeah, beliefs could hold artifacts. All right. Good to know, good to know, good to know. On my main character. Captain, landing procedure initiated. Um, I, I think I mentioned. This little kind of straight line of shadow here looks a little funky to me, whereas this looks a little more natural. But man, that is definitely something to look at. Okay. Let's quit distracting ourselves here. Get back to work.
Didn't mean to drink a bunch of whiskey. Just wanted to fix my torn muscle. That's all. I think we're gonna get a good little amount of combat in here, so actually. Let's take two combat packs. have rapid reload to do? I think we do. Yeah. I gotta stop reloading until my clip is empty. to sell. Terminal on the catwalk. Worth investigating, if heights do not bother you. Here we go! Uh, this is gonna activate a robot for us, I'm pretty sure. Update friend foe settings, protect current user, activate unit, boom. 
Oh, that was a bad idea. Um, yeah, that was a bad idea. So we're gonna undo. We're gonna do it like this. Boom. 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 Suit unzipped. Oh man, these friends of the fleet get more twisted every day, dude. Use of a power. I'm not gonna lie. I enjoyed that one. Really. That was fun. Um, need another meal tray. Kitchen. Hopefully, we'll find some food. Back room here, this final room. There's definitely going to be some uh, pirates in here. Probably pretty. Did tough. they have anything of value? Uh, this guy doesn't have anything. This one should have a pistol. Yep. Wasn't expecting a kraken. Maybe like a rattler. Or a side star. than willing to help you carry anything that has use or so is of considerable value.
place. Look at that. Didn't even have to undo anything that time. A, a rare day indeed. There should be a star point in here, I imagine. Not leave valuables behind if we can avoid it. Another way through. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. Literally. sprinting for a minute. How much gear are we carrying? 204 out of 193 that we can't carry. Alright. Yeah. We'll just have to hold it for a second.
Time you woke, we have things to do. I slept for 20 minutes, relax. Time to push some G's. Go to any planet in the solar system. That's a little odd. But okay, let's go to Earth. Well, 
that is where we are going to call it today. Uh, not very long, a little short, a little sweet, but hopefully it's still fun and exciting. Now, we acquired that new power today, Solar Flare, which we got to use, which I, I quite enjoyed. A uh, little underwhelming based on the description, but I, I, I had fun using it for what it was. And we've got another artifact, which means we are one step closer in uh, our Constellation quest line. Uh, I know that's a lot of fetch questing going on, and it's a little annoying, but um, maybe come Friday, after we trade off this gear we've got here in Sidonia, come Friday, maybe we can move on a little further with this quest and hope that it's going to be a, a, a good payoff for us. I don't exactly know what happens next in the quest. Well, I, I think I know. It's been a while since i kind of done the main quest in this long form. So I think I know what happens next, and if it's what I think it is, it should be a good time. But we're going to have to wait till Friday to find out. So if you enjoyed this video, give me a like. And if you want to keep up with it, you know, subscribe. Turn the bell notifications on. That way you can be notified every time I drop a video, not just in this series, but other games I want to do moving forward and other kind of videos like I alluded to uh, earlier in this video. Uh, so yeah, if you like that, uh, like, subscribe, but if you didn't like it, leave me a dislike. But if you leave me a dislike, drop down in the comments and let me know what it is that you didn't like. Did you not like my performance? Do you not like this game? Or is there something else I failed to take into account? But more than any of that, I am just so thrilled that you took time out of your day today to game with me. And I will see you next time in the Starfield.